Simplify 16x plus 14 minus this entire quantity, 3x squared plus x minus 9. So let me just rewrite it, and I'll get rid of some of the parentheses if we can. So we have the 16x right here. 16x plus 14 plus 14. We don't have to have those parentheses. It doesn't change the order of operations. And then we can subtract from that. Well, we can just distribute this negative sign. So instead of having a positive 3x squared, if we multiply times this negative 1, it is minus 3x squared. That's that term right over there. And then you have this x over here. It's a positive x, but it's being multiplied by this negative 1 out here. So it is minus x. And then finally, you have this negative 9 out here, but it's being multiplied by a negative 1 out, from, out in front of the parentheses. So a negative times a negative is a positive. So plus 9. And so now we can just combine terms that have the same degree of x in them. And I'll start with the highest degree term. The highest degree term right here, and the degree is just means x raised to the highest exponent. The highest degree term here is negative 3x squared. It's a second degree term. x is being raised to the the second power. So I'll just write it here, negative 3x squared. It's the only one we have. Then we have the x terms. We have 16x minus x. So if you have 16 of something and you subtract 1 away from it, you're going to have 15x. So plus 15x. And then finally, you have your constant terms, 14. And then you have plus 9. So 14 plus 9 is 23. Plus 23. And we are all done. We've simplified. We've simplified the polynomial.